Oh, okay. Let me fix that. Um, <laughs> probably zoom out a little. That I don't have to do. So just so you know, there's not going to be an intro to this. This is just straight into a vlog in my life of having a birthday. I just turned 25 and finding out that I am losing my hearing. And it's not a joke. It's a real thing. So it started with me moving from California and then moving to Virginia. And of course, my provider couldn't send any of my medications from California to my new home. And because of that ongoing issue, I ended up having to get a new provider with a whole other different healthcare. I am thankful for this new provider. I work in the medical field and I noticed that a lot of my patients currently have this specific doctor. And I was like, okay, well she must be good if I keep seeing her name pop up everywhere. So I picked her. Their very first consultation was amazing. We went through literally every <laughs> annual tests you can get being a woman also acknowledging all my uh, issues as well she had said something i had asked her to repeat herself and then i told her you know i'm sorry you know sometimes it's hard for me to hear and she looked at me kind of funny and she was like why is that i had mentioned to her about when i was younger i went to a lot of different concerts so i thought that might have been the reason why my hearing is a little off a long time ago i noticed that my left ear gets muffled if I have my car radio on um, after 20. After 20, my ear starts to sound distorted and muffled, and it's just this ear. So I thought maybe this ear had the problem. After I told her that, she ordered a hearing test in-house, so we did that. I thought I did a pretty good job. <laughs> Turns out, I failed it completely. She did a referral to an ENT to get my ears checked out because she said that the ones in house aren't as accurate as the ones there. And I'm very thankful that she did because I proved that my hearing is bad. Um, I tried a couple years ago, I think maybe 2017, 2016, I tried telling my doctor in California, hey, you know, I think I have some sort of hearing loss because of that messed up ear telling her how distorted it gets. And she just looked at me like, oh, you're young, you know, there's nothing wrong with your hearing. Um, she never actually like checked my hearing. She just looked at my ears to see if they were clean. And yeah, so that went nowhere. So I'm very thankful for this new doctor for actually listening to my concerns because I wouldn't have known that my hearing was so bad. So now we go to the ENT specialist. I did, I did a hearing test where you push the button and if you hear, you know, a noise. And we also did, she checked to see if there's any pressure or fluid behind the ear. There was none. We did a speech test, kind of. I had to repeat every single word that was being sent to me. I passed that one completely, but the one where you push the button, I failed. <laughs> if you play a couple instruments, one tends to be able to match a tone. So I got the test done. The lady can only tell me a little brief bit of it. It was the day after that I got my follow up with the doctor. She said that both ears do have hearing loss, mainly with the high frequencies, some mid tone. She said that one ear was significantly worse than the other, that normally when people have hearing loss, they're usually about the same mine were different. She said that it is most likely genetic. It is not from going to concerts or anything because that would have made both my ears even. They set me up for an MRI at my work. So I'm in the medical field. We have an MRI machine there. So we're actually able to get me scheduled. So right after my shift, I go to the MRI room. So on March 7th, I'm going to get a MRI. And then March 15th, I get a follow-up involving what went on with the MRI. She wants to make sure my cochlea is not broken in any way or damaged, just to see why there's significant damage on my right ear and not my left. And another thing, the reason why I have muffled hearing on this side is because it's trying to make up for all the hearing loss on this side. I guess I should have known because when I'm at work and it's a slow day, so I'm listening to my music on one earbud, I notice if I put it in my left ear and someone's talking to me on this ear, I cannot hear them. So right now, the way that I hear myself, to me it sounds normal. I don't notice any difference going on. There probably is. <laughs> and I can't hear it. It's been a long issue that I have to constantly ask someone to repeat themselves 
or people getting mad because of, because of that. All my grandparents are gone, unfortunately, so it's not like I can ask anybody, hey, do you have hearing loss at a young age? Odds are no one's probably gonna actually admit to that. Finding out from my aunt that my grandfather in his 40s or 50s, he couldn't hear very well. And it was to the point to where him and my grandmother, I guess, would get into arguments because he thought she said something. She got tired of having to repeat herself. I guess it was always dismissed because he was in the army, so they thought, maybe the hearing loss was from that. But my aunt was saying that she might think that that happened actually earlier than that. When I get the MRI, we'll find out whether or not it's internal damage or if it is genetic. And it seems like my dad is also claiming that he has hearing loss. However, with my dad, he works uh, outdoors and the work that he does tends to have a lot of noise. So it's kind of hard to tell with them because they both were environments that were very loud. I am a little concerned if this is going to be gradual and affect my work considering the fact that I do take manual blood pressure from time to time as of right now they're still on point so I don't have to worry about that during my follow-up uh, a couple days after my birthday the lady had told me because of my significant amount of hearing loss and my age that I'm a perfect candidate for hearing aids so I'm gonna end up needing hearing aids on both sides that was a little disheartening I guess it's it's disheartening because I didn't know my hearing was that bad I mean I can still have normal conversations it's just when people mumble when people whisper or if they try to talk to me from across the room or watching even movies I need to have subtitles on unless you want the volume really loud I'm afraid of missing one word you know <laughs> other than that my hearing I thought it was fine. I didn't know it was that bad that I needed hearing aids on both sides. However, I am very glad that I learned ASL um, a couple years ago. I mean, I could try to sign, but I haven't used it in like five years. I think that's a sign for five years. I know this is a year and I know this is five, so. I know that as time goes on, I may need it. I don't use it enough anymore to be as comfortable as I was five years ago. Five years ago, I could have a conversation and now I have to actually think about what I'm gonna say because I don't remember. Luckily, I do know enough. I just need to watch some videos and brush up on it. As of right now, I don't need to use ASL. It's good to know. I will say that, it's good to know. I'm actually documenting all of this right now because you know, this might be useful for my future kids, if anything, or if there's someone out there who is in the medical field who is also becoming hard of hearing or noticing it. You know, this might bring some kind of comfort that you can still do it. I'm not opposed to wearing hearing aids, you know, I don't care if anybody sees them. So I have no issues with wearing hearing aids once I do end up getting them. I'm not embarrassed if people see them, like if I can't hear, I can't hear. I know if you don't wear hearing aids your hearing will get significantly worse over time. So it's better to have help now while you can versus losing all, losing all sorts of hearing later on and not being able to do a job that you love. I, there's so many red flags, I guess, that I should have known that I was losing my hearing. You don't notice losing it. At least I didn't. Not really, actually. It's really hard to say when I started noticing it. Back in 2015, I went to college and I started learning ASL, so that was about six years. Oh, that's more than six years ago. Oh goodness, okay. Wow, okay, then it's a longer time that I've used ASL then. So that's why I don't remember it. Okay, uh, I started taking ASL, that I think that's when I started noticing it more. I would put my phone on, my phone does it still now. I have it where it flashes instead of it ringing. I know that annoys people, but that's the only way that I'll notice that I have a phone, like a phone call or a um, text message. I also have it on vibrate too, so I could feel it because I used to never be able to hear my phone ring. I also don't want to have my ringtone so loud in social settings either. All these different things are kind of showing me, wow, all these different flags, I, kinda, I guess I should have known. No, I don't remember any kind of damage on this side of my face. About two years ago, I get so mad that my boyfriend would put subtitles on Netflix and I'm like, 
it's so distracting from the show i can't watch it I complain having to take it off each time i log in and now i frequently use subtitles all the time and now it annoys him that we have to use it For movies that have loud music but such low talking why we went to a drive-in movie and we're watching was it born to die and when we were watching it i noticed i couldn't hear a damn thing but the music was extremely loud and i don't know if that was the drive-in or if that's the actual movie you guys can leave a comment if you watch that and you experience the same thing because it annoys me when certain movies just do that how i mentioned before how my grandmother and grandfather would get into arguments because he couldn't understand her it's kind of the same thing with me and my boyfriend at the moment he doesn't i mean get mad at me or anything or argue with me but <laughs> he'll say something and then i'll say what i thought he said and he's like how did you get this word from that word i noticed during the pandemic you have to wear a mask now it made me realize how much i rely on reading lip i knew i was a visual person but i didn't know that i relied on lips so much at my new job luckily everybody is amazing for the most part they're very understanding i'm gluten free and like they all remember that too and they like tell my boss like hey if you're gonna buy anything make sure you get more something that's gluten free so i really appreciate that and not only that they've also basically catered to my hard of hearingness they knew that i was i had bad hearing before i actually went and got my hearing test done the girls would um, tell like one girl, I guess she was trying to talk to me. One of my coworkers told her like, hey, you know, Lauren's back turn is turned to you. Like she can't hear you. And I guess there's been other times too where um, one of the girls, she asked for, an e for me to put the EKG, I guess, in a certain room. And I'm like, you never told me that. And she was like, you're right. You must've been, you must've been further down and couldn't hear me. My bad. Luckily that I work around people who understand that my hearing isn't that great. So this is just a little vlog of my hard of hearing life. I probably won't be able to do an actual video of me in the MRI machine, that'd be kind of interesting. We'll find out if I'm claustrophobic. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so if my future kids are seeing this, good luck, we got a lot of issues in the family.